Oh, hello. Welcome. I'm just seeing who's on today. Welcome to Nana and I'm Nana and welcome to my channel. And I am just working on some, uh, I was going to show this when I finished it, but I want to work on it so I can, I'm going to work on it right here and everybody come and join me. Uh, you'll see part of it and then I'll get it all finished um, off and on screen. So this is what I was, my project I was working on. Hi, hello, Cindy Bishop. Where are you from? And welcome to my channel. And thank you for the thumbs up. Hello, welcome. Do you like crafting or cooking or any of that stuff? Any of that stuff? I like doing live streams, but um, sometimes they're quiet. And sometimes I get a little more people. Um, but I do have fun. I like having somebody to chat with when I'm doing my crafting part of this. Or do you crochet? Oh, you're from P Pennsylvania. My friend's there. I, I hope I see MT. I have a friend that's from Pennsylvania. I haven't seen him for a little while. Because, yes, you like crafting and you do like boom, both. I think there's a little bit of delay between my the typing I see and me asking the questions. Uh, just a little bit. That's what happens on live streams. When I ask a question, sometimes a delay and I don't know you're answering the same question I just asked. So do you crochet too? Is that a yes? Tell me about yourself, Cindy. What do you like to do? Hopefully we'll we'll have some friends. I don't know. I don't normally. I used to come early all the time. Um, well, great. I want more crafters. I love it. Um, what do you, what's your favorite thing to craft? And I was, I like coming on during the day, but it was like kind of quiet. So I. Took a break from live streaming during the day. But um, I guess if I found a day that people would come and join me, I'd come on. It'd be, it's fun. I like coming on when there's uh, people to keep me company. And uh, I used to hear your videos. Oh, you used to watch my videos? Used to watch my videos? Cool. Thank you. I, I need the help. Uh, more views on my videos is more helpful to me, actually. So thank you if you like my videos and I've helped you out. That's great. And is there something you'd like to know how to craft? Um, I'm kind of like, I do all kinds of stuff. I do a lot of journals and... Um, and I get in the wintertime, I kind of like doing crocheting and knitting. I work with clay. I make cards. Yeah, do you die? Yeah, I do diamond painting too, Cindy. Yep. I haven't done it for a while. I was doing it for the longest time. All the time I would di diamond paint. And maybe I'll come back with a diamond painting to finish the one up I got in the bedroom. I did so many, um, that I was, you know, not just tired of doing them, but, um, I was trying to sell them and I couldn't sell them. So I was like, I don't want to keep buying them and I don't need all these. I like have um, probably three, four diamond paintings sitting in my closet that I didn't do yet. But uh, I might pull that out after. I'm going to finish the projects I'm working on. Did you ever make a journal before? Do you like journals? Like doing anything besides like uh, diamond painting? Do you like doing other things? Do you knit or crochet? Or is there something, um, like I said, a journal you want to make? Or 
you know, something like that. What what interests you? Thanks for the thumbs up, whoever came in and gave it to me. I was going to do this one offline, but I want to work on it. This is going to be a person. I have a hat that uh, is going to go with this. Wow. You have a close to a hundred of them. Wow. That's a lot of diamond painting. Can I pique your interest in doing something else than diamond painting? Or that's kind of your thing? Were you here before my live stream, Cindy? Has it been a while and did you come and visit me? Never did one. I cro Oh, you crochet? Would you do you do you'd like to do a journal one time? Have you seen the journals I made? I should ask you that. Have you seen the journals I'm working on? And just in case you want to know, right now I'm single crocheting. Uh, right here I have a line of uh, half double crochet. I just want a little design in it too. Never did one. Uh, I did a lot of costumes. Oh, you did lots of costumes, yeah? Do you like doing journals? Or like you want to learn how to do one? Or I like to see what people like to do. They want to join in and I take my time showing you. Um, you want to see one of my journals? What I'm talking about? It takes a little time to do a journal, but, um, you know, I'm not doing one yet. I got to finish the ones I'm working on, but I actually have done them. I, I've done them lots of times from start to scratch to show people if they want to learn. You don't want to do a journal. What's that? Thank you. I don't know what that is. Okay. Customs. Oh, you work for customs. Oh, I got gotcha. you. And sure, I think you want to see a journal? Okay. Let me show you what I'm working on. Um, I got to connect them. They're almost done. Uh, but I'll show you. Let me get up here. Here. These are the ones I finished. This is one of the ones here. I'll lift it up a little bit. All right. This is uh, my weight loss one I finished. See, it uh, looks like that. I did all kinds of journals, but this is my weight loss one. And I'll just show you the inside of this one. They're all done different. This You design them for how you could use it. Well, that's what I do anyways. So this is my menus. I'm going to make some more, but like a quick, quick reference to calories for menus. And I just broke this up into sections of goals. Um, I'm missing a picture, but I'm going to put a picture here of starting my journey to doing weight loss. And then I go through all different sections of weight loss. And, um, you know, oh, it's this one. Oh, just different things. P positivity, 
there's some calories, quick calories. I look at this book for quick calories. And I got a little tiny book inside. If I want to add more, I need the papers. Um, and then more pictures as I lose the weight. And then uh, here's my little clip-ons I made before too. Are you still here, Cindy? Don't be, make it happen. So that's all my little notes every day I write in. Today's a rough day. I haven't done my exercise yet. And little stickers to reward myself. That's the, the way I designed this one. All right, that's this one. But then the one I'm working now was a garden one. And I crocheted the side of that one. And then... Gotta put them together. These are my garden ones. I haven't put together yet, but I gotta put them together. So that's good. This is seeds I'm putting in here. So this is um, this is for flower seeds and everything, and this one's for garden um, vegetables and everything like that. And then I still have to sew the seams in together. That's all I'm done. And a little bit of decorating, but we'll start out like this. So you're not together and I'll put all kinds of seeds in here and then this is a, a spot to write in and then there's little package of seeds in here a whole section in here and then more stuff if I want to write in here I have to put all this together that's part of doing a journal is uh, these are signatures and sewing in the signatures and that's the main thing I left and uh, that's this one. And this is the second one. Here's the second one. That's This is how I'm going to do the other one. Like you put all the plant seeds in them. Like they have all kinds of sections for seeds. And then more writing in this one. And then kind of seeds again. Then more writing. And seeds again. And then I can even put these flops with seeds. And even my sections, these sections have pockets to put seeds in them. So it's, this, these books should fit a lot of seeds in these uh, books. But I will continue. i got to put them together. I might actually just do it on a live stream. And and I always do that and put, unbind them on the live stream. I have to cut a piece here. And then I'll finish the two books by binding them. And they'll be done until I do some more journals. All right. All right. And I'm doing this today. Right. Thank you. Give a thumbs up. Thank you very much.
to make sure this. All right. Made enough. This is um, cotton I'm using. I've never crocheted with. Well, I did. I actually did some scrubbies before, but um, I wanted cotton for what I'm making here. So I'm using a cotton instead of uh, acrylic or wool. Because th those two kind of stretch when you're making. This is going to be a bag. When you're making a bag or stuff, it stretches a lot. I don't want to do that. Oh, you can hear we're doing some work outside. Still there, Cindy? This is too tight here. Let's undo some of that. Hello, welcome. Hmm. 
Oops, here we go. Oh, well. Okay. Take it here. I don't normally crochet on a table, but uh, it's not bad. Actually, it takes the weight off my arm, so it's pretty good. Do this round and then go get a sip of coffee. Cliff, is that you out there? Da 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 Now, I should say the reason I'm doing a single pattern is because I think in, in using cotton, this is a lot stronger support for a purse. So I wanted to do it.
We have to get another thing. I don't. I thought this would be enough, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. next stitch so I want to measure so many and then I'm going to do another double half crochet then a single then a double half crochet and then eventually I want to do a double crochet in the center because I want like a pull string in this after there we go Thank you. That was for the thumbs up. Whoever gave it to me, thank you very much. People are popping in and out. Oh, no problem, Mish. It's okay. I, I wasn't expecting you because uh, it's all right. You're driving and having a good day. Thank you. Driving and have a good day. You too. Thanks for, uh, what are you up to? I won't keep you, but what are you doing? I just felt like coming on here. I was in the mood to live stream this today. I have to go back to my routine of, um, I really, you know, I just, because I stayed up late, I'm all screwed up my routine. And so this is one of the things I want to do. Um, I've got uh, my coffee. I actually haven't even eaten breakfast yet. So this is late, 128. So I'm going to grab a lunch. And uh, I'm so not together. I'm not not a bad thing. It's just different. Sometimes I like having a different day than the same routine. So this kind of split up my routine coming on here. But it's okay. If you can't stay, it's all right. Thank you for stopping. Nope. Had a few grocers and going to have lunch. My son before he leave. Oh, nice, nice, great. And have some. Well, where's your son been? I, anyways, I know it leads me to talk. And sorry, Mish. So if you got to go, you go. But um, it's kind of nice sitting here chatting with somebody. That's nice. You're going to have lunch with your your son. Where was he staying? It's classified.
He had a rap a rap show in Kansas City, and then he leaves for Denver later today. He had a rap show. Oh wow! Yeah, shuddy, shuddy, shuddy. Cliffy, shuddy. to my hole. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's a rapper, not the best lyrics, but praying God will change that. Oh. So he's a rap. That's what he does for a job. He raps. Wow, Mish. That's pretty cool. No, on the side he runs, but he is a manager at a fine Italian. Oh, is that where you want to eat? You want? No, on the side. That's cool. So he has two jobs. He's a manager at a fine dining Italian restaurant. Plus he raps. Oh, you're you're a rap. That's <laughs> Cliff. Oh, you're nutty. You're a nutty. It's cool though. Well, that's good. You, you got he's a manager and he wraps on the side. And are you going to eat at that Italian restaurant for lunch? Oh, he's visiting you. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no. He works in Denver. He's here visiting me. Cool. So you're heading for lunch now. All right. I'll unwrap this. Everything's okay. We have some crack boards that uh, Trucker Man is fixing in the back. My craft room has a bed, and he cracked the boards, so he's fixing the boards. So if you hear a, a saw or drilling, um, he's putting boards to replace the ones he cracked. 
That's three times that bed, the boards have cracked in that bed. So Cliff wants to know, is he any good? Do you think he's good? And if it wasn't for the lyrics, like if you, you changed the lyrics, would you like it? It's nice seeing your kids, though. How often do you see the boys, anyways, and your daughter in that? How, how, your daughter's near you. She lives near you, so you see her more. But how often do you see the kids now? Like, how often do you see your two sons and the, your daughter? I wonder how much you see them, Mish. Because I know your daughter, you help out a lot, and she's close by. Bingo. Yeah, unfortunately, it's the tough lyrics that sell. Yeah. That's probably true. Yeah, fortunately, with my son moving in, in the holidays, I've been able to see my boys quite often over the last few months. Oh, that's good. I grew up always having competition sound equipment in my cars. Rap is one of my like, genres. Yeah, I, I want to tell you, I'm not a, it's not my favorite genre, uh, but I have seen some really good rappers so that, yeah, it was not something I used to listen to, but I have, there were some good ones that I've seen that were really good, but I would say that's probably not my, my area that, uh, not my favorite area, I guess, but uh, it's still talent, especially right now, the words and everything, it's. 
it's a, more, probably more of a talent sometimes than actually well, doing lyrics. Uh, I have a 60,000 watt system that's going in my Nova soon. It was in my suburb, uh, suburban before I traded it. I'm surprised I'm not deaf. Oh, God. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like loud music either. I don't know. Maybe that's my, my thing. My husband turns up the radio so loud and it's it actually kills my ears. I, w I never liked loud, loud music when I was younger. Either when I went to concerts, I liked going, but the music was too loud. Well, we actually sing some too. That's cool. I like that. That's a combo. That's cool. That is cool. I like it when they do both, when they kind of rap and sing. It's that, it's like perfect for me. Perfect. Hello, can you hear? <laughs> okay. It's going to take care. Uh, R and B is close, a close second. Yeah, that's good. I don't know. I like all. I actually don't have a favorite. I like all kinds of stuff. I actually not. I wasn't a big fan of country, and I like that now too. So I kind of will like every kind of genre, everything, even rap too. Depends on who's singing it, but I like some. I like it when they talk and then they sing. I like that part of the both for rap, and then I like. Uh, r and is good. I like, I like rock. I like, I like all of them. Everything. I don't have a favorite at all, really. I like even the blues. Yeah, you're in country. I like, I like them all. I, I was, I like, there's some really good country. It depends on the song, I guess. There's some good country. There's some good rap. There's some good I like blues even. Sometimes, you know, the blues, I actually like the blues. I think that is really, um, I couldn't listen to it a long, long time, but I like all of it when they do the, when they did do the blues, like Louis Armstrong with the, the, the trombone, the trumpet or whatever you want to call it. I think the blues is cool too. Like going to New Orleans and sitting down at a restaurant and listening to that kind of music. That is cool. Only thing I can't deal with is country. Well, there's some good country, Cliff. There is. They're not, it's not all twang. I want to call it twang. There's some really good stuff. Depends on who the singer is. Oh, you don't like hard rock? Yeah, hard rock, maybe, but there's still some well, you like rock, but not hard rock. I don't know. Like I said, I like it all. Except it depends on who's who's singing it, um, the tune, the song. Oh, that's not good.
little pan flute stuff in there. <laughs> what about what about like opera music like that? Do you guys like opera? I gotta have something to eat after. Oh, I gotta shake it off. I might even go for a walk today. I haven't gone for a walk. I feel like I'm kind of close claustrophobic today in the house. So I want to get out and have a little bit of a walk. Oh, but, uh, I like uh, opera and classical now and then. Yeah, now and then. Yeah. Opera. Take a break. Don't hurt yourself. What do you say? I'll take a free car. Well, that's not, she's not even, Oprah's not doing good anymore at all. Like she's not the thing she used to be when she was on ABC, um, Oprah. I know she bought her own channel, but I don't think the channel's doing very well. Don't think though. But I used to like all that stuff when you want all that stuff it was fun. I used to like it. I used to like watching when she had the shows and she, they gave all kinds of gifts away to, um, you know, teach, they have a teacher's day and bring in teachers or whatever. And all the whole audience got all these gifts. I loved it. Oh, pamper my tooties. Yeah, I think I'm going to get, after I get off here, I'm going to go for a walk. I'll take the doggy for a walk. I haven't done that. I don't know how cold it is, though. I've been avoiding going outside because it's been too cold. I'm supposed to take a sip of coffee. I cut four dollars a little bit. Well, do you good it's only 20 here today i didn't even wear my coat to the store i love it oh really is that nice out let me see what temperature i got because i could i have been stuck in the house and i haven't gone for a walk because i felt because my knees were bugging me and i find it too cold outside let's see i want to see what my temperature is today let's see whether You said it's 20 degrees, but you feel nice outside. Let's see what I got. Well, I'm a little warmer than you. It's 28. Yeah, it's supposed to go to 29. It's 28, so it's at its high today. 
Oh, it's almost 60 for you. Wow, I'd be outside in a minute at 60 degrees. Mine is 29. Yeah, 29 degrees. Kind of chilly. But I think my dog, Lacey will love it. Lacey will love going out. I've been so bad lately. I haven't gone out. But I've been doing everything good as far as watching weight and everything. But um, today, I didn't do my exercise. Didn't have breakfast. So today is a, a, not a, a day that I normally would do lately. This is a very different day today. <sighs> yeah, I normally get up. And then I have my coffee and breakfast, and then I watch TV. Then I get up and start cleaning some of the house, and then I, you know, just keep busy all day. And today it's like, I think it's because I went to bed too late. I enjoyed the company from you guys last night and getting my project done. I wanted to get done. Now I just got to bind the two journals. So I'll, I think I have fun kind of finding them when I'm talking to everybody on here. So I might bind them and finish those two journals off. And So I'm trying to figure out how late I stayed up. You guys all went. I stayed up a little longer after you guys left. So I think I didn't go to bed till like three in the morning. After three in the morning last night, and then I woke up at ten. So it kind of screwed my routine up a little bit. So I got a hold of Leanne last night because I went on to Mrs. Greentham a little bit for an hour after. Actually, that's why I went to bed. I said bye to you guys. And then I went on the other channel to see who was on because I didn't feel like going to bed. And then I ran into Leanne and told her I was going down. Then one after another beat 52 taking off from Air Force Base. Are you near the base? I know where you live, but uh, you can actually, are you watching something on TV or you're actually seeing them? I didn't think you were near a base. Yeah, I think we might get together, Mish. I don't. I have to talk to her though. I mean, I've never. I don't even know what she looks like, but uh, we're gonna try to talk on Facebook, and uh, I might meet up with her in um, near Edmonton. I have to see. Oh, my friend in New Hampshire lives by the base. Oh. We only got, we only got army helicopters and civilian. Okay. My friend New Hampshire lives at the base. He's been posting videos. Okay.
No, they do. Misha's right, though. They do practice a lot. They, they have to exercise even even if because they have to be on alert in case something goes wrong. So they got to they got to exercise. They have to they got to keep up. So if something does happen and they're called, they're all set. It doesn't mean anything's on going to happen. It just means they might be on alert or something. Yeah, I know about exercising. I bet you do. You know what I want to look up? I want to see how, how expensive those tea bags are, too. You know, when I was talking yesterday about making some tea bags, I'm going to look that up. Stop for a second because uh, I'm going to go to Amazon and see how much they are on Amazon, those tea bags. Because if I do have the stuff, I, I wouldn't make my own tea. I'm not a big tea drinker. I really am not, but I'll drink a little bit and then I'd give the tea away if I could. I just want to see if you can make my tea bags. Let's see. Uh, how do you call them? Blank tea bags? Empty, empty tea bags. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I see you can buy them here. Which are the. Ooh, wow. Okay, you get. Well, that's kind of cool. You can get a um, hundred disposable tea filter bags for fourteen dollars. I wouldn't say it's cheap, but um, and then you got for four hundred bags, you can get for for sixteen dollars. You get four hundred bags, which is probably a better deal because you're only paying for two more dollars, and you're getting three hundred more bags. Cool. It's not as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be worse, so that's not bad. Two hundred. That's not as bad as I thought. Hundred. Cool. Two hundred for thirteen dollars. 200 tea filter bags, disposable tea, tea bags for loose tea. It's almost like you get two different colors, which is kind of cool. Well, that's not bad. Okay. He doesn't like to exercise. I don't like to exercise. I have to force myself to exercise. I hate it. Especially on Rudolph. They take off if you like them. No.
going down there. All right, it's brother. Uh, my son and I are about to eat. Have a great day. You too. Never saw that before. I like to exercise. The Darren program closed down until further notice. Oh, at the gym. Nancy. Nancy McDonald. How are you? Hey, you too, Mish. Be safe and I'll see you later. So hello, Nancy McDonald. How are you doing? Welcome. Thank you for the thumbs up. Oh, I got to make supper. Can't believe it's already two o'clock. I am making, actually, thank you for asking. I'm making a, a handbag and I already made the hat and I want to make the hat and the handbag to match. I want to put some um, string in the hat. So that's what I was working. I wasn't showing anybody because I was doing it offline, but I want to make a handbag. I actually want to use it. I'm making it for me to use. I've never made a crocheted bag before. And I'm kind of having fun with this because I see all kinds of designs to make a bag with it. Are you a knitter, Nancy? I, I don't I don't know if you are or not. Are you a knitter, crocheter, crafter? What kind of stuff do you get into? Making you a pair of underwear. Here, cuckoo. Oh, you like to crochet. Okay. I I know why people like to crochet. The design is actually nice. Plus, it's easier to crochet than knitting. Knitting's a lot more work as far as I'm concerned. Um, but I might try that later. You too, Mish. Have a good day. So um, I saw this pattern and then I kind of adjusted the pattern because it was like, it started out, I thought it was too thin for a purse. It starts out, you got to do a single case. I'm too sp fast to connect. My mother tried to teach me when I was little, but oh, but uh, she was left-handed and right-handed. So that didn't go over very well. Okay. So to knit. Okay. Well, I think in all fairness, I like both of them, but this is easier. If you make a mistake, you can fix it easier. And the design is really pretty. However, knitting is tighter. So if you're looking for something a little warmer, as far as I'm concerned, I think knitting is better. Um, if you're making a sweater, I think it looks pretty crocheted. But I think to keep warm, the knitting one is better because of the, how tight they are together. Ooh, it's too loose. So... um that's what I'm doing, making a matching handbag and purse. 
Anyways, the, the original pattern I was seeing on the internet was you, you um, kind of do a single crochet on the bottom and then you do uh, doubles all the way up. And I didn't like it. I thought it was too, see, here's the corners. So it's, uh, it's actually pretty big. At first I was going to cut it down and I went, well, um, I'll make it tall enough. Uh, and, and then I'm going to make a handle for it. And then I want to pull a drawstring in the center to decorate it. And here's the hat I did already. It kind of, on my head, it looks like, um, like a roaring 20 kind of hat. It's, it's a bucket hat. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bucket hat. And right about here, it starts to turn. And I want to put a string in here around it. And whatever rope color I put here, I want to put in the purse. Thank you. It is cute. Uh, I'll, I'm going to show it after when I start, when I find a thing, I'll show what it looks like. But I'm happy with how it turned out so far. <clears throat> and I, I don't want it wool, so this is cotton, so you can use this in the summertime. Love the colorway. <clears throat> yeah, I picked it for this. I didn't know if I was going to like it. And then I want to put uh, some kind of belt is going to go around the top of this. Like I said, it's going to be some kind of ribbon on the, the top edge where it flips up. And then this will blend in with the ribbon on the purse of it. So it's quite a big bag. I could have cut it down. I follow the pattern. And then, that first, then I took it beside my other purse I have. And this is actually smaller than my other purse. So I went, well, I'll stay with it. And we'll see how this uh, turns out. I probably have to get another um, thing of cotton. Hopefully I can find the same match or I'm going to have to do something to blend it in with this one. Because I'm not sure how much uh, it's going to get me to finish the purse. This is how much I got left. Uh, so I don't, I don't know if it's going to be enough to finish this purse and I'll have to get another one. And then there's something I saw that was kind of cute to match with it was, um, I might crochet a, a zipper to have a little, uh, change purse. It's going to be a little, uh, either a change purse or makeup bag. And you can kind of crochet around the zipper and, uh, I want to use the same string for this. So it's kind of like a three thing, you know. Not everybody likes that, but I thought it was kind of cool that I have a hat, a purse, and a little change purse that goes inside the purse to match. Hey. Well, that's all right. Thanks, Christina. It's all right. It's all good. It's okay. You're, thank you for dropping in. When you can hang, you hang, and you can't, you can't. It's all good. A what yarn and what pattern? Okay, the pattern is on, the yarn is, it's a cotton. It's cotton. This is a cotton. I don't want it, I was, I don't want to use wool or acrylic. If you, you know, because you said you crochet, if it stretches. This is stretches, but it's not going to stretch so hard because it's cotton. It's really like, you know. Uh, strong. If I use the wool, the wool is really soft and it stretches. This is much better. So this is a cotton blend I got. And the, the pattern is, um, it's a what pattern? It can be found on, I found it on a channel. I don't know what the name of the channel, but I'll tell you how I did it because it might be easier if you're interested in doing this bag. It's easier for me to explain than probably figure out where to show you what it is on YouTube. Uh, but it starts out with you're doing, you got to do 16, here I'll uh, show you if, it, if you want to see. Do you see it has the corners right here? You can see there's edging, it's going to go here. So this is, starts out with um, 16 single rows. There, It starts out 51 and then when you take it down to the next stitch is 50. So these are 50 single rows, 16 rows of 50 stitches. And then, and when you get to that, when you did the 16, then you come around and you put three in the corner and then you go all the way up and every four corners, there's three stitches in all the corners. And then you just start, keep on going around and around and around and you get this because it's, it's the way it's designed. It just comes up. Those are the bottom corners and it'll come up 
And then what they did was um, a double crochet, which I think is too loose. I like the bag, don't get me wrong, but I didn't want it to hang like the way they had it hanging. So what I want to do, if you see though, there's a double half crochet right in here. Double half, single, double half. So I did a design here. And then I'm probably going to, I got to count the rows. Let's see. Well, actually, I could do another one here if I wanted to. I was going to go where this is. Count this because this is one, two, three, five, six, seven, maybe eight. And this is more now that I did this one. Go up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So maybe what I'll do, I want this design in the center because it's, so that's what I'm going to do. When I come up back up to my, right here, my start, um, I will do a double crochet, or no, a half double crochet, then a single, then a half double crochet, and go up. And then in, kind of in the center of my bag, I'm going to do, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can do half double crochet. Yeah, that's what it is right here. I still find it a little bit loose, but it's okay for the design. But I like the single. Of course, you'd be done fast. If you did this in a double or a single, I probably would have been done by now or a half double. But um, I'm going to go all the way to the end. And then I will. I should have. I don't want to unzip what I did because I should have counted. I want another one of these. And then I'll go up again. And then I'll do a one only one double row. And that's where I'm going to intertwine the string or whatever matches the hat. I'm going to pull in through the center of this bag to add a design where it matches the hat. I don't know what I'm going to get, like a, a leather thin band, like really tiny or whatever. I haven't figured that out. I haven't found something I like, but uh, that's, they're going to both blend in with each other. And then, like I said, the, the one that's really cool is the zipper, how to crochet around a zipper and turn it into a little uh, uh, coin or um, makeup bag. It's really cute. I was looking at this, I kind of get the rough idea how to do it. And then I'm going to come out and I might do that too. So as soon as I finish this row, this single row, I'm going to, I will, I'll go into um, one and a half crochet round and then I'll do a single and then I want, and a, like, I should say a double half crochet, then single, then double half crochet. And then I'll continue singling again and then I'll go up to where I like it. And then I'll add the only one row of, uh, double so this is kind of it's kind of seeing the pattern somebody gave me the pattern idea and now i've adjusted the, the way i want to do it it's kind of my own thing now i guess right i just changed the pattern and made it my own but it's pretty simple oh okay i am so so uh, i'm so i have the tangle help yeah no go, go do your dad that's fine it's all right, Nance. Thank you. It's okay. You go do what you got to do. And you can always find me here anytime. So, um, but I'm on here for a while. I am going to... If I do my walk, I consider it, I, I did some kind of exercise. So, um, but I can't believe it. I'm already going to do supper pretty soon. <gasps> I take the hamburger out. I'm going to get my hamburger out to start on supper after. Should have bought a salad for supper. Are you off? No. Should have bought a salad for supper. All right. My coffee. Hmm. So, Cliff, if you're still out there, what are you doing for dinner?
Okay, let me go around. <sighs> well, I'm going to hang here and do this until I have to make supper. Yep, definitely a different day today. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang here, do this, and get off, make supper. And I'm probably going to, I want to go for a walk since I didn't do my normal exercise today. I think I'm going to do a different one. And at least if I get walking and it's still um, exercise, so that'll work out. I'm trying to lose 10 pounds by Sunday, but we'll see what happens on that. Gotta unloosen this is too much. Right. All right. See, this is a, I don't know why it's, and it's easier to do. I'm not hurting my shoulders or anything and it's not dragging down or stretching my material. So it's actually, I'm almost better off crocheting on this table because it actually holds the weight of this on the table, which is much better. All right, let's keep going. Until I hit my uh, marker. I think the markers are so cute. I couldn't do this until I bought some markers. I didn't have any. And this is a different newer needle because it's uh, ergonomically correct for my hand. So it hasn't been too bad, this thing. Um, good. All right, got that there. There we go. So, oops. Let's undo that. Get into the wire. I didn't even get into my uh, counter here or my marker.
Come on, get over here. All right. Oh, shoot, I almost, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh oh, I almost screwed that one up today. Oops, I did. Okay, hang on a minute. I want to start after the marker, do a double half crochet, and I forgot. So let's do this single Mark my bow again. And let's do my double half crochet. All right, one double half crochet and then one single crochet again. Okay, around. Let's go here and here, double half. Right, this round should go by faster. Do this double. Half.
<sighs> okay. Oops, almost did a single there. Double ha. There we go. Double ha. All right, looks pretty cool. Get this one done, and then I do a single row. Um, let's see what happens. All right, take a little bit of a break after this. Um, how much do I got to do? Ooh, I got a whole length of that. Let's see what I got left. Yeah. All right. Nope, I don't like it when it's all tangled like that. Let's fix this up.
I hope this works. I hope this is enough. I'd be very happy if this was enough. So I didn't have to buy a whole other skid of this. And I, cause I'm not sure if I can find it. All right, here we go again. Let's do some more work on it. Let's finish this row.
All right, almost done the half double crochet. I'm going to do a single one. All right. Hello, welcome. All right, I gotta start my single pretty soon. Single. Hey, are you listening? Yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna be on for. I gotta do dinner pretty soon. It's going on three o'clock. But uh, let's see, go around. I'll do a little bit more. I feel like I'm talking to myself for the last about half hour or so. Um, I only talk so much to myself and then I got to get going. Uh, but I enjoyed it. It was fun. All right. Hi, Miss Southern Bell. How are you, darling? How are you? Just stopping in for a second. I'm good. I just I stayed up late. I was live streaming a lot, lot late last night, and I just my routine has changed. So I just felt like coming on this morning. Well, I've been on for a couple hours, and so I'm doing okay. Just uh, maybe tired from last night. Yeah, orange sweater. Um, 
So, yeah. How are you, Miss Southern Val? That was a nice trip you did. I loved all the goodies I saw. Yeah, I was trying to ask you if you, yeah, I wanted to know, because you know I, um, the weight loss I've been trying to do. And I wanted to see how much those, um, you went by the, what are they called? You know that diet thing that they have going on? A lot of people are doing it. You had them, the, the bars right there. Kate, keto? Keto. I wanted to see how many calories were in a keto dessert bar. It was keto, yeah. Why don't you go shopping now? Oh, I was on a panel last night. Oh, were you? Oh, that's okay. But I'm I'm talking about. Uh, I wonder those keto bars if how good of calories there. I was trying to find. Uh, eventually, I don't want to eat snacks yet, but I want to find some low calorie snacks. Uh, when I get closer to the goal, I want to lose the weight. Then I want to introduce some snacks that uh, I won't put weight back on. You're a little tired from a panel last night. Did you just wake up too, or no? Oh, just something simple. I'm making hamburger helper. That's got, that's actually got high calories. I want something. I don't want, I want some good snacks, but are just not high in calories. Yeah, they're all right. But they're, they have actually high content of sugar. When you dry them out, they're almost more calories than a normal fruit is. A fruit is actually better for calories. Um, I want, I'm talking about like little chips or something like that, like bad snacks, we'll call it. I'm looking for some good, good, bad snacks that aren't too high in calories. Um, that's what I'm looking for. If I'm going to go all out, I'm going to treat myself to something I like, not, to, uh, something that's okay. I got to go do something good. And those keto snacks. I'm just curious. I want to know how much calories there are in those. That's all. Uh, yeah, sun chips are okay. I don't know. Like I, I, like I said, the reason I'm going on and on about keto is I don't know much about it. I know... People lost a lot of weight. They like it. But uh, I'm more looking into calories for different programs. Uh, sesame sticks. Yeah, that I like them. But they're probably high. That's a bread. I don't know. I read the packages. That's kind of what I do. <sighs> Let's see. It's been, it's been, uh, this week's a lot, kind of a rough week for me to, uh, I'm sticking with it, but I just, I have, you know, you get certain days when you're starting to, this is three weeks now, and it, it just gets to a day where it's just hard to follow something, uh, and I'll kick myself in the butt and get back on it, but, and I'm not cheating, I didn't do anything wrong, I just feel it's like one of those days where I feel, um, I need something, I need something to wake me up, like something to, Say, okay, you're doing a good job. Let's continue on and go back to normal tomorrow. See, I wasn't, I wasn't going to show you this. This is one of the projects I was doing offline. Uh, oh, yeah. That's a little too wild for me there. A little too wild for me, Liz. A little too wild. But it's a different idea. That is really pretty now. I love the colors in that. 
Do you? You you I was I was leaving this offline, Lise, because I wanted to surprise people. I had said I was working on something, but I um you like it? I couldn't do that either. <laughs> I you know what this is? What I'm making here? This is kind of I'm kind of treating myself to something. Um plus I wanted to crochet anyways. So I had bought the wool and I wanted to see if I could make. What do you think this is, Lisa, anyways? You like the colors. What do you think it is I'm making? Or did you hear me? Lifted weights. Use some lifted weights. Anyways, you know what this is, what I'm making? Any idea? If it turns out, I hope. My sister's just swimming. And uh, wait, oh, my sister suggests swimming and lift five pound weights. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. One ring a dingy. Cliff ran out of me and then he came back. He's a should I stay or should I go guy. I'm going to call him that. Should I stay or should I go? Bum, 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 bum. Should I stay or should I go? Because I was talking to him and he left the building. Should I stay or should I go? Uh, I will catch up with you a little later. Have a great day. Love you a lot. Got to run. Okay, no problem, Lee. See you later. See you later, alligator. I only stay if someone's talking to me. I talk to you. I talk to you. What are you talking about? I was talking to you, and you left. Sorry, I couldn't talk. It's okay. We'll see you later. Got to do what you got to do. I want someone to talk to. I didn't hear you. There was awkward silence. Well, I did. I I do go silent. That's true. But if no one's really talking to me, I don't talk to them. So I'm not well. Not that I don't mean anything by it. I'm just kind of concentrating on my stuff. I was I. Always heard never diet change your lifestyle completely stay, stay grounded. I always heard never diet. It's not, I'm not really, well, you're right. It's more of a changing eating differently though. I'm not really, maybe that word, whatever. I use the word diet, but it's not really a diet. I'm changing to eat better. Uh, that's what the word is. It's not, it's not, it's a lifestyle change. I have to eat differently. And that's what I'm trying. I'm working on. But you got to kind of lose the weight first before you, you have to change lifestyles and then try to lose weight at the same time. Uh, like someone was, well, I felt that come. Are you using your phone and talking in your phone, Miss Southern Bell? Is that what you're doing? Are you talking in your phone? I change my underwear once a month. Oh, goodness. Gross. Cliff, you are gross. Gross, gross, Cliff. All right. 
So what's everybody having for dinner? What? What? What's everybody having for dinner? What are you having for dinner? Dinner. No, she says no. Oh, yeah, you're not using your phone. I thought you're like talking, you're typing. Okay. All right. So when are you going shopping next? When are you taking this for a trip to the shopping? You're having chicken Alfredo? Hmm. Well, that sounds good. You're having a bowl of ice cream. Yum. I saw all those goodies you looked at in the store. Um, there were some nice snacks in there. Nice snacks. Oh, nice. Cindy makes her own Alfredo sauce. That's nice. Actually, that's really good. Homemade sauce is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, almost did that. Okay. Susie has been helping with the cooking. Oh, sure she has. Sure, your, your little puppy dog's been doing some of the cooking. Sure. All right, now I got to do a double half crochet. I got the book of international tea. Oh, that's cool. I didn't, that's cool. You, there's so, you had some good, are you going to be keeping that for you? I can keep that tea book for you, Miss Southern Belle. And I am going to try, maybe, I'm not going to say for sure. I'm going to try to see if my garden's growing any of the stuff I can turn into tea this year. I'm going to see if I can dry the leaves out and make some homemade tea. Because I have some of the plants that I grew that are perennials outside that are for tea. And we will see. We shall see. The echinacea plant, I have that. Uh, echinacea cone plant, I bought the seeds. Clifford's secret herbs and spices. Time is it though? I'm gonna have to put my hamburger on pretty soon. Three o'clock. So you're not keeping it for you. The book is going to somebody else. Oh, I hope you can't hear the. T Hang on a minute. I gotta put him. Tell, tell him to turn the TV down. It's too loud. All right, let's go try some more of these. <sighs> oh, I don't drink tea. Oh, you don't drink tea? Okay. So you got the book to give to somebody else then. I, I don't, did you know there's a mushroom that if you eat it once, it will feed you the rest of your, no.
Right? Are you making that up, Quiff? That doesn't sound normal. You eat a eat a mushroom. Eat once once it will feed you for the rest of your life. Okay. I think that sounds awfully weird to me. Well, if that's true, I think that's awfully weird. Doesn't see, seems weird to me. Ooh. Well, I think I'm going to hit the road um, pretty soon. I'm going to go make my supper. So I thank you very much. Thanks, Cliff. Thank you, Miss Southern Bell. Thank you, everybody that came through here to, to my live. I will see you soon on another live stream, I'm sure. Uh, so thank you very much. And I got to hit the road to go do my supper. So I'll see you guys later. There we go. And I'm going to continue my bake until I get it all done. Bye. Thanks, Cliff. Thanks for Southern Bell.